it finally happened. The New Orleans Saints won their first football game against the predictably unpredictable Eagles, who win big one week, lose badly the next. The Saints hung on grimly to win. For the first time, the Saints offense gained a measure of consistency and their tough defense managed to check Philadelphia when it really counted. As usual, the Eagles had their share of exciting plays. But on their fifth offensive play, they lost all pro tackle Bob Brown for the season. And along the way, tight end Mike Ditka and safety Ron Medved succumbed to crippling injuries. The only scoring of the first period occurred on the opening kickoff. Walter Roberts streaked up the middle and faked the last Eagle defender, number 24, Nate Ramsey, into oblivion en route to a 91-yard touchdown. Saints open the second period the same way as the first, though in a more unorthodox manner. Catching a swing pass over the middle, Jim Taylor fumbled, but alert Mr. Roberts was on the spot to transform the error into six points of magic. Saints 14, Eagles nothing. The loss of Bob Brown has made the Eagle offense lackluster until Timmy Brown, off the inactive list for the first time in five weeks, takes a pass for 31 yards to set up a successful 41-yard field goal by Sam Baker. Behind nearly an all-rookie offensive wall, Tom Barrington streaks 22 yards the longest run from scrimmage by New Orleans all year. In scoring position again, Saint quarterback Gary Quazzo makes his only mistake of the day. Eagle safety Joe Scarpatti intercepts his pass and the drive is halted. Norm Sneed spears Mike Ditka over the middle. But the reception is costly for Philadelphia when the big tight end is lost for the afternoon with a torn ligament. Jim Kelly replaces Ditka, and the first time he gets his hands on the ball, it's worth a touchdown as the Eagles pull close at halftime, 14-10. The Saints always have a colorful halftime show, but nothing like the show they stage in the second half. Dave Witzel intercepts Sneed's pass and returns it 22 yards for his third touchdown of the season. The Saints lead Virgins to 24-10. At the end of the third period, the Saints front four tears apart the patched up Eagle forward wall and makes Norm Sneed pay dearly. But Sneed maintains his composure and aided by number 54, Jim Ringo, who cuts down David Rowe, Norm connects with Gary Ballman. The same combination accounts for the second Eagle touchdown as Philadelphia pulls to within seven, 24-17. The following kickoff proved to be the biggest play of the game. 
Baker's boot caromed off the chest of Tom Barrington. Number 86, Fred Hill, had two alternatives. Run the loose ball in for six or fall on it. Hill tried the latter, but it didn't work, and the Saints recovered. Driving to midfield, the Saints covered the last 50 yards on one play. Rookie Taft Reed, number 17, was beaten only once, but that one time iced the victory for New Orleans as Walter Roberts took Quazzo's pass for his third touchdown of the game. Saints 31, Eagles 17. The Eagles drove downfield on three receptions by Ben Hawkins. Sneed hit Timmy Brown on a swing and up for a touchdown. The touchdown proved meaningless as the Saints gave the football crazed fans of the Deep South their first taste of victory and how sweet it was. <laughs> 